Welcome back to the Curiosity Wiki channel. The place where you will find the most interesting curiosities and everything you need to know to have a successful life. Hey, if you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the Curiosity Wiki YouTube channel. Activate the bell to be the first who see the new videos. In the 1970s there was an experiment in which a group of students was studied with the expectation that there would be a positive correlation between students who turned in their homework on time and those who wore clean socks. However, the outcomes were quite the opposite. Apparently, students could either do their homework or change their socks every day, but not both. This is what the psychologist remarked. Another experiment had hungry students entering a room where some were allowed to consume freshly made cookies, while others were only given radishes. Of course, these students had to exercise a great deal of self-control in order to avoid eating the cookies. Through a disguised window, the researchers emerged from the lab and observed the volunteers. After successfully torturing them, the researchers brought in these two groups of students and challenged them to solve an impossible puzzle. And the outcomes were fantastic. The group that was permitted to eat the cookies worked on the puzzle for another 20 minutes. While the group that had been assigned to eat radishes and had previously used their willpower earlier worked on the problem for only 8 minutes. Furthermore, it has been discovered that if you go into a shopping mall and give individuals easy math tasks to do, those who have been shopping for longer would give up considerably sooner. So, while you might sit there thinking, okay, fantastic, these experiments are intriguing, but comprehending the consequences of these studies might make you far more productive and radically change the way you plan your day. So, what are the consequences? Well, for starters. You must recognize that you have a limited amount of willpower that depletes as you utilize it. Second, you apply the same amount of willpower to all tasks. Well, I have the willpower to perform my work, but I never have enough willpower to exercise when I get home, many people claim. It's not like you have a separate supply of willpower for work and exercise. It's more possible that you've used up all of your willpower at work and now lack the motivation to exercise. When we look at the sock experiment, we see the same thing. It will be much more difficult for you to get started on your homework now if you go to the laundromat for two hours and do your laundry, as opposed to a student who went straight to schoolwork. It's the same if you wake up on a Saturday and go shopping instead of completing your creative work. You have to make a decision for every single item you purchase, and you're certainly familiar with the tiredness that comes with prolonged shopping. Someone else will wake up and begin doing the creative job first, resulting in a significant increase in productivity. As a result, it's critical to comprehend how willpower operates. People who comprehend this are far more successful in life than those who do not. For example, author Neil Strauss gets his meals delivered to him automatically every day. Now, someone who isn't familiar with how willpower works could think, what a squander of funds. That's ridiculous, to be honest. I'll just prepare my own meals. Also, save the $10 or whatever the amount is. Except that he'll exhaust his willpower and won't be able to devote as much time to writing, and as a result, he'll lose his mastery of writing and, even if we look at it strictly financial, he'll lose tens of thousands of dollars. So our hope with this video is that the next time you wake up and want to get stuff done, you don't visit Facebook first thing in the morning. You won't check your email first thing in the morning and answer to everything before setting aside time to work on your creative projects. You won't wake up and ponder about what you want to eat for breakfast for the next 30 minutes. In fact, you'll automate as much as possible, even if it means having food delivered to you, so you can concentrate on what matters most. Because you see that every unimportant thing you perform depletes the willpower you could dedicate to the one thing you most desire in life. Again, most people don't understand how willpower works, so they waste it and are never able to accomplish anything. Do you waste time and willpower considering what to eat first thing in the morning? So, perhaps it's time to go back to the drawing board and plan some things out. Are you putting off your creative projects till later in the day? Perhaps it's time to accept that it must come first. Are you concentrating on producing 20 distinct items? So, perhaps it's time to accept that, realistically, this will never happen, 
and that it's time to focus on one major task and complete it properly. Thank you for watching this Curiosity Wiki video. Maybe you would like one of the next videos. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.